Hi everybody, this is Marcy Ann, Recreation Director for Spinnaker Resorts, and we thought we would take you all with us today on one of our day trip options. We are currently in one of my favorite locations, Beaufort, South Carolina. Beautiful Beaufort by the sea. So hang with us and we're going to show you some of the sights and give you some suggestions of things to do, places to eat. Stick with us, you're going to have a great time. Enjoy your day. One of the great landmarks here in Beaufort is the Woods Bridge, just, just over my shoulder. As you know, one of my favorite movies ever is Forrest Gump and there's a famous scene in Forrest Gump that includes this Woods Bridge and that is when you see Forrest Gump running across the bridge but when you see him run along and he pats his face and he sees the happy face, that was filmed right here in Beaufort, South Carolina. Here we are at Beaufort Waterfront Park, one of my favorite places to come to. If you see behind me, there's all of the different restaurants. Most of the restaurants here on Bay Street on, in Beaufort, they have a back patio option. So if you wanna go out and do some outdoor dining, this is a great way to enjoy a wonderful meal and have some great views. And then for dessert, get yourself a frozen coffee, get yourself an ice cream or a frozen yogurt, and come set on one of these wonderful swings that line just along the way in this water, beautiful waterfront park. Hi everybody, I am here at Low Country Produce right now, one of my favorite places to eat here in Beaufort. So if you are hungry for breakfast or for lunch while you're visiting Beaufort, please come on down to Low Country Produce. The interesting thing I really love about Low Country Produce is that they have a farm out just outside of Beaufort in an area called Lubbocko. So everything that you eat in here is fresh off the farm. So you just can't beat that. So come on down and enjoy some good eats. Hello everyone, my name is Nicole and I'm the owner of Sea Island Carriage Company. A little, or a few things that we um, pride ourselves in here is the care for the horses and the quality of the lifestyle they have as well as the accurate historical information that we give. Sea Island Carriage Company has been in business for about 20 years and um, I have owned it for the last five years. But it's all a big team effort, it's not all about me, it's a big part of the horses here sneaking treats on the other side and the tour guides that we have um, but together we come we come together as a great team and it's a really neat you unique experience to have here in Beaufort. You guys uh, would be touring in the Point neighborhood and that is a small peninsula off the edge of downtown Beaufort. It is a part of the historic district. Our historic district is 304 acres and on the tour you're going to go through the highest concentration of antebellum homes um, in the state. And antebellum, by the way, means built before the Civil War. So a lot of these homes you're going to tour and you're going to go past them. You're going to be told who built them, why they built them, maybe the type of people that own them now, some of the things that they did during the Civil War with the homes. And there's some movie sites and churches and things like that also along the way. When you come into Beaufort, one of the places you're going to want to come is the Visitor Center. And the Visitor Center is located within the Arsenal, so it's a great architectural piece that you can't miss when you come into the city. And the Arsenal is a historic building, of course. It, was, it looks like a huge fort, and actually it's quite small. It was actually used as a storage for their gunpowder and for their guns. So come on through here, make sure you check out what they have to offer in the Visitor Center. They'll help you with if you want to do a walking tour or even book some tours if you would like here. And upstairs is where the Beaufort uh, Museum is. Well, we've all heard the saying, life is like a box of chocolates. Well, that saying came from here at the chocolate tree here in Beaufort. When the famous scene of Forrest Gump holding out the box of chocolates, where did those chocolates come from? They were all homemade right here in Beaufort, South Carolina at the chocolate tree. It's a place you cannot miss on your visit here. Right now we are at St. Helena Church, which is a great spot if you're doing a walkabout here in Beaufort. Put this on your maps because you don't want to miss it, and especially you history buffs, I'm talking to you in particular, that some of the most historical graves that you're going to find actually in South Carolina, you'll find right here in our churchyard here. So you're going to find Tuscarora Jack, great story there, so look that one up. I don't have time to go into all of it, but he was quite the character. Um, there's also two British soldiers that are buried in this church, so that tells you a little bit about the history timeline of how long this area has existed. So if you get the opportunity, make sure you put this on your map. Welcome into the Rhett Gallery. We've got five generations of artists here. My mom, dad, great-grandfather, myself. We have my wife's photography. Um, we've been in business almost 40 years coming up this January, and we're located right in the heart of downtown Beaufort. So please come by and check us out. We've got an upstairs map room, sale table, Civil War room, all kinds of things, and lots of low country artwork. So please come in. Here we are at the National Cemetery in Beaufort. 
The National Cemetery has a long history here in Beaufort that dates back to this just after the Civil War and during the Civil War. Um, there's a lot of historic markers that you'll find throughout the cemetery. The reason why it's located here in Beaufort is because when Fort Walker fell on Hilton Head Island early in the war in 1861, then that caused the great skedaddle of Beaufort because we no longer had protections um, from the Confederate forces here in Beaufort. So that brought in the Union and they actually took occupancy of Beaufort itself, putting in their headquarters and many hospitals and their convalescence homes here in Beaufort. And that's what saved Beaufort and why we have such a collection of antebellum homes. These homes were never burned down, there was never those kind of issues. Actually, the Union came in and occupied Beaufort and that saved this town. So because of all of those hospitals that were located here, of course there's going to be tragedy that's going to be associated to all of those hospitals. So that opened up another issue for the villagers here in Beaufort of where do you put all of these fallen soldiers um, that didn't have, um, that we lost in the hospitals here. So that's when they opened up the grounds and they started um, having the internments here in the cemetery that grew into the National Cemetery. For those of you that are like me and you are a total Pat Conroy fan, I've got a treat for you. Nestled right here in Beaufort, where most of his stories took place, is the wonderful Pat Conroy Literary Center. Now this place is very special to me because Pat was a very special person in my life. So if you get the opportunity to go inside, their docents are amazing and they will take you around and show you Pat's desk where he wrote beach music. Um, you'll see the famous fighter uh, jacket that his father wore and was represented in the Great Santini. So please, if you get the opportunity and you're walking around here in downtown Beaufort, take this little back street on Cra just off of Craven Street and pop into the Pat Conroy Literary Center. You will be amazed and you will not regret it. Hello, I'm Donna Worsler and I'm a docent here at the Pat Conroy Literary Center. Um, the Pat Conroy Literary Center was established not many months after Pat Conroy passed away in 2016. And we are trying to uh, promote what Pat Conroy believed in, um, to promote uh, literature, writing, uh, also to promote educators and teachers and readers alike. Uh, we have all of Pat's books here. He wrote 12 books. And um, we try to support and promote what Pat Conroy believed in. And hope you'll come pay us a visit. Thank you.